Am I really about to sit down having posted in three months after promising that, yeah, we know we back, baby, we back. Am I really about to sit down and start another diary of a, yes, yes I am. And I'm sure like by the title is is very, very obvious. Um, diary of a bar security. And I know like every time I post a new diary of a video, it's like, damn, this nigga just be, he just be out here. Like, what was it at first? It was Dollar General, then it was Ace. Think maybe there's a Lowe's in there somewhere. Police computer, shut the fuck up. Actually, let me mute this. There we go. But it's, it's, it's just been so many shits. I, I, I can even make a diary of a personal. I'm a personal trainer now. Like, I've been gone for a minute. Like, I've been kind of, I've been kind of speed running through side quests and shit. Like, I'm a whole certified personal trainer now. Like, I really be out here doing shit at this point. But diary of a fucking bar security. Holy shit, do I love it. I know I start off every, <laughs> every beginning episode of diary of a is just like saying yeah you know I, I love my job i love the people up there this that and the third and then and eventually it's like i hate my job i, I hate my managers and you know i'm, I'm i quit you know it, it, it that seems like how it always goes i don't even think i've ever finished a die i think i finished the diary of a dollar general employee i think i've done that but at this bar it's actually oh my god this shit is so fucking funny bro not even just my coworkers, just watching niggas at the bar. Like my favorite thing about going to work is pretty much just to people watch because that's technically in my job description. People watch, make sure niggas don't do stupid shit, make sure people don't, you know, just make sure people are staying unruly. Like my, but my favorite thing, and I mean my favorite thing to do is just watch people strike out. Like it is, oh my God, like it is the funniest thing ever and i'm not like you know dissing niggas who just don't get no bitches or niggas who just don't got no game i'm just saying it's funny to watch like one time this guy came into the bar some of my co-workers was like hey watch him because he's telling other women that you know he's lonely and it's like okay cool so i'm watching him like i'm watching him go from table to table trying to talk to anything in the bar like he's going to the black women well he's like let me let me show you let me try to build a nigga image of what he looks like he's pretty much like this pretty short white guy you know he he, he almost he's like a imagine a white guy that looks like a lesbian and that's pretty much what you get it's like you would you wouldn't be in the wrong to push up on him if that's your type of thing, but you'll be severely disappointed when you kind of like realize that's a man kind of thing. So he's going to the table, he's going up to black girls, he's going to the white girls, he's going up to anybody who will give him the time of day. So I move stations, I, I, I rotate. <clears throat> And about 15 minutes later, this nigga is back, and he's sitting with a table with some like with some with some with some doms. Not going lie, he's sitting up there with like some some bad bitches. I'm like, okay, we see you. And then I I really take a look at the situation. I really look at him, and he's really sitting on the outskirts of the table. They're kind of talking around him. Like, you know when, like, you watch someone in a group and he's not really in the group talking, he's just outside of that circle. It's, it's pretty much that. And I just watch him and he tries to join the conversation. They stop and look at him and it's just like, bro, you gotta move on. Like, you gotta get out of there before they clown your ass. So they call us over there. Because not only were they just, like, trying to be nice, but it's like that, uh, yeah kind of laugh and shit and it's like bro you're either about to get kicked out or they're about to probably punch you in the chest but and then he eventually gets the hint and he leaves i'm like poor nigga and he goes to get another beer and then this group of girls comes in and it's, it's a <clears throat> it's a mixed bag of numbers <clears throat> and i'm gonna leave it at that it's a mixed bag of numbers of the women that come in if you know you know and he's over there, and he's over there. And he's trying. He's dan He danced over to him and shit. Like he, he's better than fucking me. Like I get that he has some alcohol in his system, but there's no amount of liquor. There's no amount of tequila. There's no amount of Tito's. There's no amount of Jaeger. There's no amount of any fucking alcohol that will ever get me to shimmy over and dance over to a group 
of women, let alone one. But he does, and you know, they're laughing, they're giggling, and it's the same thing. Like, they're laughing at him and not with him. And, like, this has been going on for, like, 20 minutes. Like, I haven't left my station in 20 minutes just to watch this shit go down. Because, one... It's weird. Like, it's weird nigga behavior. Like, it's so fucking weird. Like, just having to watch him just go up to women and strike out again and again, and it just gets worse and worse. Like, eventually, he about to bring out the Glock and just be like, one of y'all coming home with me, goddamn. And, like, eventually, he's over there with them, and he's taking their pictures. That's when you know you lost. If a girl is like... You're trying to talk to a girl and she's like making you take pictures of her and her friend, bro. And and that's it. You've lost. You have lost. Loser, lost. Go go to jail. Don't if you pass go, don't collect two hundred dollars. None of that shit. You have fucking lost. But he kept staying there. Now we're 30 minutes into it. And he's still with that group. And eventually he gets the hint. And I just watched him take that walk of shame out of the bar and it's not even that and it's sad but it's not even the worst thing i've seen with people striking out like there was this guy who was there and he was like going around he was talking to every girl like he was but the thing was he was dressed like a fucking sixth grader and i know how sixth graders are dressed oh my god my lats hurt like, i got a massage yesterday digging in my lats what what's it called scraping i got fucking scrapes and my lats are fucking sore but they feel great though like i, I feel fucking i feel fucking unlocked holy shit but back to the story at hand so he's going up to every girl dressed like a sixth grader like this nigga has some beat up nike shoes on I'm not saying it's wrong if you weren't like if that's what you have to wear at the house and that's what you just have to wear at the house you know go mac with some beat up holy nikes on but he had some you know he had some beat up gym shoes on he had the he had the nike shorts he had an adidas shirt and an adidas hat and i don't know who you're trying to pull besides another sixth grader in that fit but go crazy king go fucking crazy so he's going around the bar and he's talking to women and he's pulling up like this man is ballsy like this man like i never realized how desperate niggas get when they're drunk and horny bro like this man at the end of the night was horny as fuck like let me let me let me not get too ahead of myself so he's going around and he's talking to women single he's talking to groups of women and he's striking out every time he strikes out he goes back to the bar he gets something else to drink and he keeps going and going and going and this goes on all night like i feel like if he didn't talk to every woman out there who came in and out he probably talked to majority of them and hearing him flirt was crazy like there was this girl and um i was talking to her i'm not gonna fucking lie i was talking to her so um we were talking and i was like what did that dude come up and say to you and like he was like <laughs> He was just trying to like, he was trying to speak to her like they were both black, if you know what I mean. Like white guy trying to speak to a black girl, using ebonics, using slang and shit. And like the thing is, it's like she was pretty well spoken. Like some girls in there, you can get away with that shit because that's just how they speak. They'll probably look at you weird. It's like, it's like this, this, the Steven Seagal me me one the poom poom shit if you know what i'm talking about you just know what i'm talking about shit's fucking hilarious but it's it was like that and then they were like talking like where are you from and then she said i forgot what she said she was from and then he said oh huffman like a completely different part of like the state might i add like completely like like opposite direction of where she lived and like he was just trying to flirt and he was like all the slang and shit and it was so sad but at the end of the night at the end of the night i'm cleaning up it's like two o'clock it's not two o'clock probably like 1 30 1 45 bars about to close we're cleaning up so we can we're prepping clean up so we can clean up get the fuck out go to the club do a fucking never we want to do so we're cleaning up and this guy he's sitting in this chair like he's sitting next to these two two women and um I'm just gonna say, like, this man, they're they're not desirable. 
they're they're just they're they they just don't look like anything that you or I would really want, you know, if that makes sense. And he's coming up to me. He's like, "Hey, hey, hey! What's your name? What's your name?" I'm like, "My name is Jonathan. What's up? What do you want? Like, is everything okay?" So I know this nigga is drunk, but he's holding himself together. If you're drunk and we can tell you're drunk, we're kicking you out. But if you're drunk and you're holding yourself together, like you're fine, then party on, dog. So he's like, "Come here, come here. This girl wants to talk. This girl wants to talk to you." And he starts leading me to her friend to like to to like the other girl he's talking to his friend and like this man is trying to put me on a two man i did not sign up for it like i don't know you bro and she was like what's your name what's your name and it's like my name my name's jonathan she's like let me get your number let me get your number i'm like i'm looking at this nigga and it's like bro she said you're handsome you think she pretty and, <laughs> and her friend was like yeah she said you were handsome like do you think my friend is pretty and I'm just like, I've never been in this situation before. Like, my mom taught me not to lie. But if I feel like I don't, I will be worse off for it than I was if I told a lie. And I didn't say she was pretty. You know, I said, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty. Cool. I, actually, I said she was pretty. I said, yeah. You know what? You're pretty. Cool. Yeah. Let's keep it on moving so I can go. Because I'm trying to get these fucking beer bottles up. And she was like, let me get your number. Let me get your number. And I'm like... Definitely. Listen, listen, let me get close to the camera. Let me get close to the, get close to the mic. Definitely. Fucking not. Not in a million years. Not in a trillion years. Not to the fucking sun death. No. But what I did do was, because I was feeling like a troll, I just gave her the number to my old job. And what was my old job? Domino's. Gave her my number to, to Domino's. Cause I'm like, I'm not giving you my number, bro. Not at fucking all. Especially be trying to be enforced into a damn, damn two man. Like, for no reason. Like, hell no. I don't know none of y'all niggas. Hey, y'all, y'all niggas have diseases and shit. But we're cleaning up. Night's over. His, 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 his women leave. His, his, his women are gone. He didn't leave with them. So he's at the bar. He's paying his tab. And he's flirting with, like, my bartender. And it's, oh, my God. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all probably not verbatim what he said, but pretty much is word for word. And don't don't use this shit. This shit is not Riz. This shit is not smooth. This shit's not game. Like, you will walk away with probably a kick in the dick before it ends up in someone else's mouth. So let me let me see what he said. He was like, he was calling her pretty. He was like, you're so pretty. You should come home with me. And like, no, it was like the like he's the only like guy left in the bar. He's the only person left to pay his tab. So like he was there from probably nine o'clock, ten o'clock, maybe eleven o'clock, all the way to two in the morning. Walked over with nothing. So this man was just trying to just he was shooting them last them last few shots he could before he had to take his ass home and go beat his dick. So he was like, "You're so pretty." This, that, and the third. And, like, there was three women back there, three bartenders, three female bartenders, I mean. And they were all, like, they were they were talking shit, bro. I, they, I'm going to keep it blunt. They were talking shit, but they were being nice about it, you know what I mean? They were being like, oh, no, like, not, not with you, shit like that. And, like, he was going along with it. And then he said the wildest thing ever. He was like, I'll give you $100 if you go home with me. And I'm like nigga what and now when i tell you like everyone's cleaning up there's people cleaning up on the outside the the gate well like the bar shield is still is still up there's people cleaning in the inside and once he said that everyone kind of stopped and turned because it's like what ain't no way you that desperate bro and like she played it off so well and she was like you really think i'm worth a hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> and this nigga's response yeah that's all I got <laughs> that's all I got and then he had he got so angry like he they thought he stole his card like he was tabbing out they thought he stole his card like he thought he stole his card and he was getting so mad he was like where's my fucking card and it's the end of the night. No fights were had. No no one was put out. So we were kind of, you know, we were kind of itching for some action. We were we were surrounding him like some vultures. We were ready to go. 
And then, like, eventually, like, they calm him down. And he finds his card in his fucking wallet and he leaves. And that was, like, that's just only some of the stories I've seen with people just, like, completely striking out. Like, if I really wanted to, I could really start this, like, a diary of a series just as, like, bar security. Because, like, even only being there for, like, a, like, maybe two, two and a half, three months. Oh, my God, have I seen some shit, bro. Like, I can go up with the women up there next. I can go with people I've had to kick out. People I've seen getting kicked out. Like, there's so much shit that goes on in a bar. When I come back to Boone, I'm definitely working at Howard Station and anywhere I can work out to be a bouncer, bro, because I fucking love it. Like, as dangerous as the job can be, I fucking love it. Like, co-workers, cool, have no problem with nobody. The place is awesome. I like my regulars. Like, this bar shit is kind of fucking sweet. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to do that, pursue that. For real, like I'm not gonna tell you not to. Like definitely, like it's it's a fun job. It's really taxing on the body, but besides that, it's fun. But that's the video, niggas. That's ooh, that's another one. It's almost fucking 18 minutes long. So let me wrap it up. Who haven't said this in so long? Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> Make sure I say it right. Y'all niggas take it easy, but not too easy, because that's when life gets hard. And stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.